know their kitties, I'm Kari. The crazy cat lady. Now it's the vacuum to put. And I've got a big announcement for you. Because... All the lab here... It is being torn down and I will be moving to join forces with my friend Alana. We will form the Mad Labs Caritech Cooperation. I will be moving uh, my lab and myself to her place. And we're gonna build a new lab together. With some new technology at my disposal. New stuff to learn, new projects to do. So it's gonna be fun time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of learning. Just like uh, a lot of learning that I have at work now. Because I work uh, for a company named uh, Enelion. They make uh, electric vehicle service equipment, as it is called. Uh, basically, electric char car chargers. The IC type. And I'm working on a research and development project. Designing PCBs, building stuff, testing stuff, debugging stuff. Electronic engineering. Learning all kinds of new info. And that excites me very much. Because uh, before I joined Analyon, I knew, I knew almost nothing about uh, PCB design, <laughs> the modern PCB design, like all that controlled impedance stuff, all that length matching stuff, and uh, multi-layer PCB design. I'm learning it on the job, and uh, thanks to the, the mentor, Michał, uh, I have at work, uh, he's very knowledgeable and, uh, and of great help. I think that I will just uh, go up a few experience levels in electronic engineering on that job. Even if uh, my agreement uh, lasts uh, until uh, the end of the year, but I will try to stay there longer. Not just because of the income, but also uh, because of uh, the opportunity to learn and, uh, and contribute to, um, to the team. So, what's today's video about? It's one of the final projects in Caritech 1.0. And it's a thing that uh, Big Life has done. It's a thing that Friend Lunch has done. So why shouldn't I do it as well? <laughs> a disco light of discombobulation. We'll discombobulate it on the bench and reverse engineer it and try to put it back together. So, to the bench. And now, watch your eyes, the light is coming up. We've got this Manta disco light. It's a pretty cheap company, all made in China, all that jazz. It's huge. When I tested it with uh, my... Uh, with my desk light. Can I bring it somewhere? It didn't want to come into that thing because uh, it's just too thick on the end. So in order to test it I will have to use a uh, fixture on a cable. Look at that! Uh, let's turn off the light. Cute. 
cute. It's cute. Kinda reminds me of uh, aromatic uh, compound structures. But it's just the uh, chemist uh, I am by education. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the parameters of this thing. It's, it's just a type. It's, uh, it's just a color. And there's no uh, power draw at all. E27 base. We've got some parameters on, uh, on the box. 3 watts, 270 lumen. Yeah. Some warranty card. But we will be voiding the warranty. We will be voiding the warranty. Starting with this teeny tiny screw on the dome but before this happens I'd like to show you one more thing I can light it up just by turning it and this means that the motor acts as a generator, so it's highly probable that uh, both parts are powered from the same power supply. And let's take a closer look at what's inside. There's a metal shaft connected with the mechanical part. And there's an in intermediate ring that comes off just like this. I uh, just unbelievable. I can just take it out. It's not glued anyhow, I can just take it out, I don't have to use the force, I don't have to use the spudger. Come on, what the hell is wrong with this? It's just a safe design. So um, there's the power supply uh, insulated with some uh, polyester or other plastic uh, insulating tape and the DC power comes in uh, on two power LEDs and then uh, power is taken out to the motor it's taken from uh, another LED So uh, those are just three LEDs connected in series. There's no uh, dropping resistor. Maybe, maybe this is uh, a uh, constant current type of uh, supply. But uh, generally, there should be some uh, current limiting part uh, either a resistor or a uh, constant current source for any LEDs. So uh, right now when I'm turning the motor in one direction uh, the green LED comes up so that would mean that uh, this um, this is the positive, um, this is the negative. 
If I turn it in the other direction, though, I can uh, make the current flow through the blue and, uh, and red uh, LED and the power supply probably has a uh, rectifier of some sort on the output. What if I try to... Take the insulating tape out. So what do we have on this pesky little bugger? We got a big diode on the incoming supply. Got some some more diodes and a transistor. So this is a switch mode power supply. None of that capacitive dropper rubbish. Got a real deal transformer. Thirteen zero zero one and the part that's here. Not sure if it's a transistor or a um, integrated circuit. It's labeled Q2, so it's it's definitely a transistor. We've got a, uh, a diode and a capacitor. The printed circuit board is uh, double layered. It even has some vias. So this... This is just a uh, half-wave uh, rectifier and a uh, capacitor on, uh, on the secondary side. It's just as simple as that. So in order to make it work again, I would have to insulate this uh, voltage converter. Maybe I'm not doing it the way it should be done. Uh, I should really use the the new type, but what the hell? I will use the new type.
good enough to put it back together. And the full three disco lights. This one is definitely the cheapest and spare every expense type. Spare every expense. If it could be done better, it should not be done better. Just like that. My verdict? Super dodgy! Still working. So, like we see, we got the real deal Chinesium stuff. <laughs> I just, I just simply can't stop wondering if there could be something uh, even worse than that. Such a crappy quality. How is it possible that they even sell this? Like. Let's uh, take a closer look at the box. So. Mm. The C marking might be China expert, but but might even be the real deal C. <laughs> Of course, the American folks and the Canadian folks and the Australian folks uh, don't have to care about that because uh, this is the strictly European thing, but the CE marking is uh, generally that the sign that uh, denotes that uh, the product uh, conforms to the European Union regulations. Uh, like the low voltage directive and um, the um, electromagnetic compliance directive and uh, a lot of uh, other regulations but the chinese manufacturers uh, designed a uh, similar uh, sign uh, that's easily confused with uh, the European uh, CE sign. They named it the China Export. <laughs> it's a little bit different because from what I uh, remember <coughs> the, the E should uh, come into contact with uh, with the circle uh, that you get from uh, extrapolating the C. In this case it is possible but uh, but uh, those letters uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if they are close enough um, together for this to happen because in China expert sign uh, they are placed uh, much closer to each other and I think that um, the horizontal bar on the E would be full length um, on China Expert but uh, don't quote me on that uh, I don't know um, it uh, all that well anyway this product is <laughs> piece of shit I wonder if I can uh, 
provide you some entertainment by uh, taking apart some other electronic crap. Anyway, that's it, that's it for now. If it was uh, the uh, the last episode um, on uh, Caritec 1.0, we'll see pretty soon. And for now, stay determined and carry on. Bye.